Hi again. I have another dream that I'd like to share. On February 25th, 2014, I dreamt that I was watching some TV show with me being one of the characters in the show. In the dream, I knew this show was typical of many other TV shows and movies out there today that are full of corruption, violent, greed, sex, and everything evil that is being portrayed in the media today. Uh, that's why I hardly watch TV anymore or even rent movies because there's just so much evilness in, in what's out there today. But this TV show that I was uh, in, in this dream, I was in some office setting, and I knew my job was to manipulate this wealthy and powerful man. My main job was to win this man over so that my company could make a lot of money from him. And I sense in this dream that there's just a lot of corruption, a lot of manipulation, greed, and, and power going on like you see in, in a lot of movies today. But uh, in this dream, um, it did not matter how I win this man over as long as I bring a lot of money to my company. Uh, it, you know, whether it's through manipulation, uh, sex, or what whatever it may be, I was just told that I need to to get a lot of money, to bring a lot of money to this company by manipulating this man. Now, when this powerful man appeared in the dream, he was surrounded by a lot of people. I, I remember that. And in the dream, my co-workers were pressuring me to go talk to him. They they kept saying, there he is, or, or look, there he is, go talk to him, hurry before he leaves, go talk to him. So that pressure was there, and then I found myself walking over to this man, who appears to be maybe in his thir late 30s or early 40s. I, I went over to him, and I started talking to him when we were having just small talks, and... Oh, so sorry. That's my little dog snoring again. Anyway, I um, I walked over to this man, and we were talking. We were just having small talks, and then he was showing me pictures of his kids. I apparently found out that he was married, and he has two kids. And when I looked at the pictures of these kids, they weren't normal kids. They weren't human kids. They were... They were weird looking they look like wood like wooden objects not human children so that was really strange the next thing i know that the dream switched and we were in a different setting and and then i saw this man walking over to me and then he started coming on to me and i was feeling very very uncomfortable because i knew he was married um, but it didn't seem like he cared at all that he was married. Again, uh, this is so typical of a lot of, of TV shows out there or movies. I, Again, I sense a lot of just evilness and greed and, and immorality going on in this show that I was participating in, that, that I was, I don't know, watching and participating in. Oh, it's kind of weird. But um, after I was watching all this and I was part of the character in the movie after I had seen all this I heard a voice in my dream uh, a voice that said to me that TV will I think it said destroy your soul but I, I remember very well it said TV will and then I believe the word was destroy. Now that, that part, I, I'm not sure, but it sounded like it might have been destroy. And then I remember very well, your souls. TV will destroy your souls. Those were what I heard. Um, as far as the word destroy, I think that's what it said. But everything else was the same. TV will destroy your souls. 
that's what I got out of that. And then I remember waking up. Um, I woke up. I believe this dream was from God. I don't think it was referring to just TV shows, but it also applies to movies and other things out there that are, were surrounded by so much of sex and immorality. Every time I turn on the TV, there's just sex, 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 and so much violent on TV. That's why I, I don't even like to watch TV shows anymore or, or even rent movies. And when I do, I'm real careful in my selection. I used to watch TV series like uh, Game of Thrones and The Tudors and I don't know what that biker movie or TV show is. Sons of Anarchy, I think is what it was. And some other TV series. Um, I can't remember the name. But the overall theme of uh, these shows is full of immorality and evilness and sex and violence. And the Holy Spirit was speaking to me when I was watching these shows because I did not feel right about the whole thing while I was watching it, even though even though I just kept watching it. So one day I just cut it all off and stopped watching all of these shows altogether. I, I knew, like I said, the Holy Spirit was talking to me, but it was so hard because because they really draw you into the to the whole thing the the storyline the action and everything and sometimes it's like watching soap opera once you start watching it you just feel like you have to keep watching it because you just have to know what's going to happen next now what's weird is i believe i stopped watching these shows and and movies um uh, I stopped watching them before I had this dream so that that is kind of weird I thought maybe I am to let other people know out there how God does not want us to watch these types of shows or movies uh, Hollywood is not God friendly at all a lot of what they put out to the public to see is, I believe, inspired by Satan. So please, everyone, be careful what you watch. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, like the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Now, if you are a born-again Christian, your holy body, I mean, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who again is in you, and the uh, again that's in First Corinthians, which I'll put on the bottom of the page for you to read if you'd like. Um, it says we we are to be holy also and not to be a part of this world, and that is mentioned in the Bible in Romans twelve verse one to two. Now, watching these uh, worldly shows full of evil and, and immorality will destroy us. I, I really believe that. This is the voice. This is what I heard the voice said to me in the dream. So please be careful and pay attention to what you, wa what you watch out there. And don't let Satan tempt you with these evil shows because they will draw you in. And that is exactly how Satan works. But I, I wanted to pass that on to you because I, I don't want to see anything happen to you. I, you know, we need to protect ourselves and we need to protect our soul because Jesus is coming back soon. We need to be try to be holy and, you know, try to be pleasing to God. And when we watch these shows and movies, they're... We're not being, I don't believe we're being pleasing to God because we're putting evilness, you know, we're, we're opening our eyes or 
our minds to these evil things that are out there, and we should not expose ourselves to that. Again, I just want to pass it on to you. Thank you again for listening, and I hope you have a good day.